get in, get in, get in. Come on, you irons, get in, boys, get in. What a result! What a first half, eh? What a first half, guys. Um, we started actually. We started the game pretty well, and then um, we scored. Um, Jesse Lingard scored an absolute beauty of a solo goal. He yeah, picked it up deep in his own half. Um, I think what helped him as well was the run by Antonio, which took um, the defenders across him, left the space for him to exploit. He went in and, and, and finished. We knew once he got in, he, the chances are he was going to finish it. But what a great first goal. Really good first goal. Set us up, put us one nil ahead, and then happy days from there. Then again, Antonio said, uh, we get, uh, win the ball, we get the second goal through, um, for Nels. You know, good play by Antonio on, on the left hand side. We get it into four nails and what a finish. What a clever finish by four nails. We've missed him. He's been out injured, uh, for quite a few games. He's come back in and he's a plump finish, isn't it? Um, to make it two nil. And, and, and then we're on a roll. All the Wolves are getting, coming back a little bit into the game and then we get the third. We get the third goal and, and then we're freeing it up. It, it, it's, um, substitution actually. Antonio has to come off. Um, uh, sorry, Bowen, so Jerry Boyd comes on, and then, um, yeah, Bowen, it breaks away again, Lingard gets the ball, there's about five players around him, he managed to hold them off, find the pass into Bowen, and he smashes it inside the near post, uh, to put us free up. And then it's happy day from there, and then we're thinking, again, similar situation to the Arsenal game, can we hold out of half time, can we keep it a free near the head? Um, Wolves then come back into the game a bit, they had a chance before they got their uh, actual goal in the first half, which they probably should have scored from. They missed that chance and then they score. Um, to be fair, it's a good goal. You know, the one player we knew, um, Traore, that's going to cause a bit of problem. Turns on the afterburner and virtually runs past our team, gets a crossing and, 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 and credit where credit's due. They score a very good um, goal to put it 3-1. And then we're starting to think, doubt starting to creep in. You know, is it groundhog day? Are we going back to the... 3-0, being ahead 3-0 against Arsenal, and they're going to pull us back. We get into half-time, um, second half, we come out, we settle down, we start playing, but we, we, we retreat quite a lot, and we're thinking, oh, we, we're just sort of giving the initiative to Wolves, you know, will they score, you know, then they get this, um, the, the goal to make it 3-2, and then it's backs to the walls, like what we said previously, backs to the walls, and we're holding out, holding out, holding out, holding out, holding out, and, and then we get the goal, I mean, Suchek did get us a goal in a in the second half, but, um, yeah, it was just an out hand, handball. Probably just really so, but, um, we held out. We held out. We get the fruit free to win and we're back in fourth place uh, and we're looking good for it. We look really sharp today, especially in the first half. And, you know, we've been saying, uh, especially myself and Martin, we've been saying we don't want to say that, um, we're going to claim a Champions League place, but, you know, we have got some very good players. You know, Lingard obviously makes a big difference. Antonio was really, uh, really, really good today. And I think had he stayed on the pitch, probably would have got a goal. You know, had a really good shot in the first half. Let it keep it uh, pushed against the post. And, and you know, losing Antonio, no Declan Rice, remember. So um, Noble comes in. Credit to Noble, he did all right. But then in the second half, when we probably needed Rice a bit more, was found a little bit wanting, especially for speed, like Wolves, you know, especially on their flanks. They've got a lot of pace on their flanks. Neto looks dangerous. Traore looks dangerous. So, yeah, we were struggling a little bit. But we managed to hold out. And we're back in fourth place. All right, credit to Moyes made a few changes. It seems, seems to did the trick and we held out. So, come on, you Irons! Fourth place, Champions League? Maybe? Watch his space. Now we're going to the next game. Hopefully we can get Rice back. Hopefully Antonio's injury is not, um, too serious. And, uh, you know, we all know this already, but this is where the squad is going to get tested, I think. This is where we're going to need the squad. We're going to need the players that might not have played week in, week out to dig in. Uh, good to see Ma uh, Masaraku back as well. He played really well uh, for about an hour or so that he was on the pitch. You know, so it's it's good to see players coming back. I think we need like a Bonner as well. You know, I think he's a true leader at the back. Dawson's doing well. Um, Diop's doing well. Although I think for their second goal, you know, he could he can he can track the player. You know, he's trying to pass him on. He should track the player. He's, he's the danger player. He's closest to him. Track him. Track him and make sure he doesn't get the ball. But having said that, we we get we secure the win. We secure the three points. And, uh, and we're all happy. Guys, if you can, 
like the video, um, share it if you can. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. And if you can, comment down below, all right? We really appreciate your support on the channel. And all your Hammond fans, get it! <laughs> Cover your eyes.